Welcome to Alpha Car Service Center. My name is Ian, and today we're checking out the AMP Research PowerStep XLs, and we're installing them on this brand new 2023 Ford Bronco. We can see they are already on the truck, so that's just to give you a little taste of what they'll look like. But in this video, we're going to check out the installation of them, uh, give you our thoughts on that, as well as our thoughts on the kit itself and the high quality components you get. We can see as well there's some Baja Designs uh, auxiliary lighting on this truck. We do have a full other video um, on all those, so check that out. But now, let's take a look at these AMP Research Power Steps. So I've got the AMP Research Power Steps laid out here. Uh, mostly everything's laid out, uh, everything that's uh, of importance to us to learn a little bit about these. Very high quality product. Uh, actually for years, uh, AMP Research, they've manufactured these for Ford. Uh, so uh, for years, if you've ordered a Ford um, with Power Steps as an option, uh, this company is, is the one, they're the ones who have manufactured them. Uh, they're just they're just that good. So these, these are the XL uh, version. So we've got these uh, nice kind of rock sliders here that uh, house and protect the steps. Uh, the normal versions don't come with these. And they look very nice as well on, on the vehicle. And it, they're all uh, have this heavy duty coating on them, kind of like an anti-slip, almost like a, like a bed liner of sorts, but it still has a nice, a nice finish to look at. Um, and the XL, uh, these lower or, or kind of drop down a few inches more than the standard one, so it makes it uh, easier to get in and out of the vehicle. So we can see here I've got uh, some of the components laid out. These are kind of the uh, pivots, the arms that will get connected to the uh, steps that will raise and lower them. And uh, these are the, the little motors with a little kind of trick a gear set or a little transmission on it. Um, we can see there that little heavy duty drive gear. So pretty cool how all this is engineered. Um, these are the mounting brackets that mount the whole assembly to the vehicle. Um, very heavy duty, you know, super thick and nice coating on them as well. And as far as the installation, uh, this is the main wiring harness. Uh, it has its own fuse. It'll get uh, powered. We can see there, uh, it'll get powered to a power source um, under the uh, engine bay. And then as far as them raising and lowering by themselves, uh, there's a li little OBD2 uh, connector here that will get plugged in. Um, and then that will uh, tell it when the doors are opening and closing as well. And there is an additional kit you can get um, where it adds a little uh, Y harness. So uh, this won't be, uh, that would prevent this from taking up the OBD2 port, but it's really not a big deal. You can just unplug this um, if you've got to scan the vehicle for something else. And these are the kind of rock lights or the, the uh, step lights. So these will shine down onto your steps uh, when they lower. So then especially at night, uh, especially maybe it's raining or there's some slick, slick things on there. Uh, that's really nice. You'll be able to see, you know, what you're about to step on. And this really nicely made wiring harness uh, are for those. I also laid out these. This is kind of the... Uh, brain of everything. Really cool module there. We can see how it's manufactured. So it's very tough. And that's uh, really all we have for you on these uh, AMP Research Power Steps. Uh, the next time you see these, we'll probably be installing them uh, on the vehicle when we have it in the shop to do so. But just wanted to point out the main aspects of these. Uh, really a high quality product and you know we're um, excited to get going on these. So first bit of progress on the Wild Track Bronco. We've got the side steps installed. They do have a bit of uh, adjustment. You can kind of adjust uh, the side to side, kind of how they center on the vehicle. So that's all adjusted. They look amazing. And right now, uh, the technician is just starting the first steps of the wiring. So he actually, we don't have the motors installed yet in these either, just so we can kind of move them up and down um, as we're still, of course, in the middle of the uh, installation. But I just wanted to show how nice they look on the vehicle. And from that beginning part of the video, 
Uh, you can kind of see what I talk about. When these raise up, they'll tuck right behind this, uh, in this cavity, and they'll kind of act as, you know, protection to the vehicle as kind of a rock slider, um, while also protecting, you know, the step, the step itself. So of course, at the end of this uh, video, we'll, we'll show the operation, of course, but just so you can kind of get a taste of that. And these are the original uh, Bronco side steps. And they're surprisingly light. So we, we think they're made of aluminum, like the frames. Uh, surprisingly light, and the coating on them is pretty good as well. So I just kind of wanted to point that out. But uh, those are off the vehicle. That's what they look like, because obviously we're not used to seeing those uh, being, being separate. And now I'm underneath the Bronco, and we've mounted up the... Uh, motors and we're currently just refining the the wiring finishing those up also the uh, Lights were wired in we can see those little mounting tabs there Those are where the LED lights are uh, that shine on the step when it comes down and we can see the uh, motor here is connected and notice how neatly if I grab the light here notice how neatly all of this is run Unless you have a trained eye, you wouldn't actually know that there's aftermarket wiring as this is run uh, with the uh, factory loom. And really, our, our technician really has an attention to detail um, with these sorts of things. And then regarding the motor here, you might think, well, that's exposed to the elements. Uh, this kit has these covers. So this will slip over the motor and it'll mount, we see these two screw holes here. Uh, it'll mount right there, so it covers the whole thing. It has a little notch um, that this little gasket will slip into where the wiring comes out. We can see the recessed slot there that that will fit into. Um, and as I said, as we have an attention to detail, um, we're also gonna run a little kind of like bead of sealant um, just to kind of try to seal this off even better so then salt and water and the like won't get in between this, this gap here where the plastic mates up to the metal plate. So we did a preliminary layout of the harness. We uh, wired it in and we see some deficiencies in the factory design. A couple of things that we are learning is one, well, first of all, their, uh, their terminals are just really uh, medium quality, their the components are high quality, but this we would recommend replacing it with the uh, copper uh, terminals. Uh, and then the length of the wire, power wire to the module is rather short, which is limiting where the module can be located and the way they designed it with the um, zip ties. So we, we're going to look at, we consider this as a temporary installation at best. So we're going to review uh, and come up with a better uh, placement of the module, certainly neater and more reliable. So the amp research power steps for the Bronco in this case, um, come with the, the high quality parts. Uh, the Their module, which I have here in my hand, uh, their solution to mount it with zip ties to some plastic covers in the engine compartment, which certainly does not align with uh, many vehicle owner expectations. We're working on a 23 Bronco, and that just did not really look all that great. So what we uh, did, we uh, designed the specific, of course it's gonna be re uh, primed and refinished, but this is going to be uh, from the decent sized sheet metal and that's uh, the bracket that would um, be bolted to, uh, is it to the battery tray? Yeah. Yeah, so this is going to be bolted to the uh, battery tray uh, hold down. So it's gonna go right here and there are two reinforcement ribs, so we're gonna put a spacer on the inside to make sure we have a tight grip on these two. And then with that mounted in place, thank you, yeah. um, we are going to have this really nice bracket. So, um, and the way it mounts, it's going to be situated pretty much this way. 
and you can see it's not going anywhere sideways. There's a nice lip on the bottom. We made sure that the uh, connectors, the female connectors, uh, there's room for them to be attached and this will be accessible. The other thing we're doing, there was rather short uh, power wires for the optimal location for the Bronco. So we are going to extend uh, those power wires and then the terminals, the power terminals, they were just average quality. Uh, so we're going to use a high quality uh, copper terminals with uh, heat shrinking, uh, sealed heat shrinking tubing uh, at the connections. So we're ready to um, secure the uh, bracket the custom bracket to the battery hold down that we're gonna be using as a mounting point in the engine bay. And you can see we're gonna install those stainless steel washers as a set of spacers to uh, compensate for the little bevel here in the edges. And it should all come together very nicely. And now let's check out where this was mounted. Of course, uh, Dimitri had just shown you uh, the bracket we made and how it was gonna mount to the battery uh, hold down bracket there. So we can just see how nice it looks. We can see uh, with how the zip ties are, you don't see where the ends are cut because those are tucked uh, underneath. So just very clean installation. And now uh, all the wiring is out of the way and protected, uh, not kind of out in the open like it would have been over here. Um, and it's not, you know, zip tied to like a flimsy, you know, plastic cover that's securing other important components. Um, so we're really happy with the outcome. Really looks nice, like it would come that way from the factory and very sturdy, really has no movement at all. And it's really more protected from the elements and like things splashing up as well, if that does happen. And now I'm gonna do a satisfying thing and we're gonna peel off the protective sticker as the uh, floorboards our floor steps are uh, installed all the way. So let's listen. Always a very satisfying thing. And may I say, me and the technician, uh, we're very impressed by these uh, side steps. We think they look great, and you would never know that there's a power side step there. It just looks like a factory, you know, heavy duty rock slider. And welcome to the final segment of the Bronco. Uh, all the accessories are installed and they work uh, beautifully. So quickly we'll recap. Of course, there's the uh, rear auxiliary lights, which are looking great. Of course, it has the uh, step sides. This side I, I left uh, down for you so you can see it. Really looks so nice, especially as we learned earlier in this video with those XL uh, model. They drop down a bit more than the standard model, so it's easier to get in and out. And they have that awesome kind of tough rock slider looking, looking housing that protects them. And then of course the uh, driving lights or more auxiliary lights on the A-pillars and all sorts of fun driving lights in the bumper. This vehicle, uh, it's ready for customer pickup. The uh, rust proofing and such we did on the underbody uh, is all set as well. So let me just give you a quick peek there. You can see how nice that all looks. All that is protected. Uh, check out that video. It'll pop up in the top right of your screen right now and be in the description if you want to learn um, how we, uh, you know, disassembled and, and rust proofed this new Bronco. Because a lot of parts, unfortunately, on these vehicles come ready to rust with no protection. Uh, just driving one of these from the dealer to Alpha cars, there's already spots of surface rust on like the drive shafts um, and some other components, unfortunately. So let me show you the step side operation. Works awesome. Uh, all you do is open the door and you see it comes on down. There's the uh, LED lighting there, which of course uh, in a dark uh, area, like at night, that fills the whole board and the ground around it. Really, really looks awesome. And then you shut the door and they go right back up. So they really do, uh, they really are a high quality product. You're very impressed with them. Um, and of course with the switch, as well, you can disable them, you can keep them down um, or leave them in like auto mode, which they are right now. So this has been Ian reporting from our Boxborough Service Center. 
Uh, if you're interested in having any of these you know, accessories or, or custom things done or, or installed to your vehicle, just give us a call, 978-263-9000, or, uh, or send us an email, rather, um, at service at alphacars.com. We'll happy, happy to discuss different options with you, you know, give you a free estimate, and we can go from there. So thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like on it and subscribe so then you don't miss out on the latest motoring content.